Good morning. We have just spent the last two nights at the Grandy Hot Springs RV Resort in La Grande, Oregon. Now, to be honest, I really have no idea if I am saying those names correctly or not. But uh, this is a really nice campground. Um, it's very open, not a lot of trees or shade here. Um, we're here at a time when the weather has been just really beautiful, 65, 70 degrees, so we haven't minded the fact that there's no trees. The um, main thing to do here at the campground is they have a swimming pool that is fed by the mineral hot springs, and it is wonderful. It's a pool and a hot tub. The hot tub isn't jetted, it's just hotter than the pool. Um, but the water temperature is well into the 80s and just very, very comfortable, even when it was like 65 degrees here, just very comfortable. So we enjoyed that. As far as if you have kids, this there isn't a lot here for kids to do other than the pool. There's no playground or jumping pillow or any kind of amenities for kids, but it's still, it's a nice park and, and you know there's good areas to ride bikes and those types of things. Um, there's a, a nature trail right on the back side of the property. Our site is very um, big, easily fits our 40 foot fifth wheel. It's very open and very flat. So the people at the front desk were wonderful when we came in. Very, very nice people working here. The showers were nice, laundry facilities were very good. So we really have a lot of good things to say about it. The Wi-Fi is free and it's pretty good. The more people that are on it, it kind of slows down a little bit, but it's actually really good Wi-Fi. And I have about two to three bars on my phone for Verizon. So if you're, if you're needing to work or do things like that, you're able to get that stuff done. We honestly have only been here for two nights. We spent one full day here. We didn't really venture out into the town. So as far as what there is to do in the area, there may be things to do that we didn't venture out and find. Um, but you are close to the town where there's um, grocery stores and restaurants and all of those kinds of things if you need to do any of that. We paid $45 a night to stay here with the Good Sam discount and that was for a 30 amp full hookup. So overall, I think it was a really good value. It's close to the interstate, it's easy to get to, um, and I think $45 is pretty reasonable um, for a full hookup site in this area. Um, you cannot do fires at your site. I'm finding that to be pretty common, I guess, here out west where they, they don't allow fires at your site. Overall, I think this has been a really great campground. Um, I wouldn't want to stay here for a super long period of time just because with having a, an eight-year-old, there isn't enough here for her to do to make it worth us staying for a long time. But it's a great for an overnight or a weekend or a stopover um, for short bursts. I think it's a really great campground to stop at.